Hello there, I'm the Biz Manager and welcome back to Factory Town. Now, today we are going to continue to uh, get all, all the items necessary to get to Tech Level 9. Last episode we uh, focused on getting those magic conveyor belts. Uh, I left the game running a little bit while I was going to get me some dinner and stuff like that and now we have close to a thousand magical belts ready to go. Isn't that beautiful? I think it is, but uh, now there is also something that we should do, and that some th something is get air knowledge tombs level two. And the reason for that is quite simple: go and uh, we build one of these for ourselves. We can see that the air knowledge tombs is nothing more than the level ones plus an air crystal to get the uh, level two uh, uh, air knowledge. Now this thing is not. Um, you know, it's, it's not going to recharge the uh, uh, air crystal or anything, it's going to consume the air crystal. Which means that we need to bring that uh, stuff back from over here. Right, we are producing... Uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, maybe, may, just maybe we have a, a few too many mana crystals here or already, uh, okay? Okay, so, uh, in any case, we need to start uh, storing up so, uh, some air crystals in here. I'm just going to lock these things over here as air crystals. I'm going to lock this one as air ether, so that uh, we don't get this completely fooled. I'm, I'm going to lock two of them as mana crystals and the other two can be whatever. Uh, cool. So now we need to start sorting up some air crystals and then we are going to bring this train. We are going to use this train over here. We just add another box card to it and uh, over here we filter by air crystals. Not depleted. Uh, regular air crystals. Right. And then we need one of these over there. And Take only the air crystals out, please. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that way we can have the air crystals in this area and, um, you know, use them for uh, air tombs level 2. Now, in order to get the remaining items, we are also going to have to refine a uh, bunch of other stuff. Right, so far we are refining uh, uh, air crystals into air ether that we then use to make air... Uh, <sighs> I meant air ores, or air stones, we are refining them into air ether, and then we are refining them that further into air crystals. Now we need to do the same for all the other uh, elements, uh, otherwise, well, we can't continue, right? But uh, before we do that, we need to find both a temple of that kind of uh, material, right? In in, this case, in the case of the blue crystals, we need a water temple. Uh, for these ones, we need a stone temple, and for those, we need a fire temple. I believe I have found a fire temple before, and a water temple. It's just that the map is a tad bit too large at this point, and uh, remembering where the stuff is, is a challenge. And uh, this thing can be upgraded. Cool, let's do that. And let's find those temples. Quite the inconvenient location, if you ask me, for this fire temple, but hey, at least now I know where it is. The water temple is quite complicated, I really have no idea where that thing is. <sighs> I just need to search a little bit more, eventually I'm certain I'm going to find it. You know what, how about we buy more properties in uh, hopes that we find more temples, because I really can't find that water temple. I know for a fact that we have one. Already, I just don't know where it is. So uh, maybe we can find another one by buying a billion properties. So far, no luck, only trading posts. Not really what I wanted, but okay. Oh, water crystals or water stones. That's going to be useful. We found a nurse temple. Great. Now we only need to transport all of the materials over here, which is precisely on the uh, opposite end of the map. But hey, what would be life without a challenge, right? Uh, I think that in order to overcome this challenge, how about... How about... Yeah, this is what I wanted, the airships, that's why I wanted the uh, 
uh, air knowledge level 2's. Uh, so I'm going to get um, the air knowledge level 2's going and then um, we can, uh, you know, take care of this temple because, yeah, it's far away but uh, if the things fly here, it's quite quick and then, and uh, you know, it gives an, an excuse uh, to use that uh, transportation method. Well, my friends, while I was waiting for the uh, mana bricks, once again, the bottleneck, the typical bottleneck, we now have the capability of upgrading the town center to level 10, which I believe is the maximum. Yes, it is. There we go, my friends. We have now achieved a maximum level uh, town center, which in previous um, iterations of this game was actually the um, end game. After you did this, technically you had finished the game, but clearly, we are still a little bit far away, so uh, we are still plenty of things to do. Alright, my friends, so pretty much everything has been exchanged between the uh, th the level 1 air uh, tombs and the level 2s. So uh, we only need to produce uh, the tombs now, which uh, are, you know, somewhat slow, but uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, where is the line? I think it's that one. That one over there, right? So all we need to do now is uh, connect this, like so. Uh, come on, not like that. Like this, and like this, and like this, and then like this. And uh, the final thing is the uh, air crystals. So, um, air crystals for you, air crystals for you, and air crystals for you. There you go, there you go, and there you go. All we are missing is the splitters, and now we have the air crystals being inputted into the mage towers, and they are going to turn those air crystals and their, those tombs into level to knowledge for our um, citizens to consume. And off we go, my friends. Nine level two tombs being transported. <laughs> uh, it's um, quite uh, ironic that those nine uh, tombs actually contain more knowledge than if we had the full cart uh, of level ones. So, uh, in the end, we are, um, you know, uh, prog we're making progress, right? We are better off now than we were a few minutes ago. Let's just see if everything else is correct. So, it is not. I forgot about you, my friend. Okay, okay. Suppose I can wait a, a little bit longer. Alright, attempt number two. This time we actually have 33 uh, tombs, which means 330 uh, knowledge thingies, knowledge points. And off they go. So now they are being stored in that barn and that uh, caravan, which is not waiting until uh, full. <laughs> It's already going, but uh, next time it comes around there will be plenty of books for it to transport. Really cool. Now, while I'm waiting on the airship thingy, uh, on the points to get the airship, which I think it's like... Oh, 1.5, I thought it was a thousand um, uh, points, which would mean we were close by, but uh, eh, that's fine, that's fine. I have something to uh, entertain myself. Uh, with I'm going to upgrade all of these belts because uh, right now the belts are the um, bottleneck uh, for this uh, forge area. Uh, oh, I upgraded them the uh, wrong way. So yeah, by upgrading all of these belts uh, we'll be able to uh, output far more than we were just a few moments ago. And would you look at that, I got distracted for a moment and we already have the research points that we need to both make an air temple and an airship. We're just going to go for the airship for now. We need an airship dock and an airship. So let's just take a look at those workers right now. Uh, let's see... Air... Can make air shrines? Building the consumes air mana to speed up nearby units and buildings. What, really? We can do that. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, this thing also c consumes two workers, by the way, which is uh, interesting, but can carry 100 items at a time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, let's see. Air uh, thingy. What was air dock? What? We need to research that as well. Are you joking? Okay, then. Um, let's go into the research menu. Air docks. 2,000 points, Psh, we are gonna get that in no time. It's just, just that... Uh, 
uh, then uh, I'll do these things. Uh, can these things pick up uh, directly from barns and de deliver them directly to other barns? Let's let's try the, it out. Let's see. Can you pick up that? And then uh, pick up that and then move there. Oh, we can. It can. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. So I was. Uh, oh, we can go level eleven. Cool. I was setting up the uh, earth ether. Um, set up over here. We're gonna have these elemental refineries and then we need to uh, bring the uh, crystals here, right? So, um... Hmm. Now that's going to be the interesting part. How do we bring the crystals uh, all the way over here? For some reason this is not lining up properly. Hmm. There we go. So, we want earth crystals over here, right? Let's upgrade that to the maximum and let's find some earth crystals in the map. Uh, those are the purple ones. Oh, there we go, here we go, see? Not that difficult to find at all. Pretty cool. So let's see, if I, for example, do this, right? One mine right there, one mine right there. You can shoot it. On the bottom level, you will shoot it in the third level. Uh, yeah, these things take a long time, so let's give a few workers to each. Three workers for now is more than enough. And let's upgrade that barn as well. So let's say, for example, right? Could it be possible for this airship to pick up that, those earth uh, stones and deliver them to this warehouse uh, right there because that would be most convenient although this thing is a little bit uh, slow we can have multiple uh, of them these are not super expensive they cost some mana bricks which are expensive but uh, the rest of the two workers and uh, purple coins not exactly uh, too bad however the speed is um, well, let's just say it leaves something to be desired, right? It's not exactly the fastest uh, transportation method ever. But hey, we are going to rely on them to do the uh, uh, earth stone uh, thingies. Okay, so it is possible. It is just very, very slow. Not only that, they offload very slowly. That's why we need the um, air docks, which we can... Uh, get right now. Apparently the air docks allow you to offload much much quicker. Let's try to build one of those, shall we? Air ship do- ooh, and they are very expensive as well, huh? Hmm, disgusting. Okay. Uh, so where can we put this? Let's put it right there and let's uh, uh, redo this thing. So, you shall pick up there uh, I don't know if the picking up uh, process is uh, slow or not. Uh, I suppose that we are going to find out. Where is the other one? I had the second one over here. You. Pick up from that barn and deliver to that thing over there. And uh, although this thing has not yet been optimized, at least now we already have a bunch of Earth Ether in storage. Pretty cool. Now, uh, where are my airships? They are returning. Uh, they all have already loaded. I could not see it. Now, one of the ideas that I am, you know, having in order to speed up uh, this thingy is to use these things. The air shrine. Uh, they use air crystals, which can then be, uh, you know, recycled uh, to speed up either workers or production buildings with air boosts. So, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to try and put this one over here. I mean, it's faster, right? Sure is faster. Oh, it gives them a boost that lasts for a little while. It's not... I thought they, it, it's going to only uh, do that while they were within the area of influence, but uh, with this found knowledge, we can now put another one over here, for example, to refill their boost. Oh, this is nice. We only need to like uh, study that their movement pattern a little bit, and then we put these things to recharge their movement speed uh, within uh, strategic locations. Mm, I'm liking this. Another strategic location that we could put uh, this thing would be over here, given that we have so many uh, 
uh, worker is going through here. What? I don't have the blanks? Are you joking? So, I've been studying their patterns, and I'm pretty sure uh, that I have almost uh, every all the information that I need. I'm pretty sure that the next speed boost is somewhere around here, right? Your speed boost is over, and you should... Come on. You're not getting the speed boost, why? Uh, you're not within uh, the range? You are within the range. <laughs> okay, no, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, we'll move that over here. Let me just flatten this terrain. How about over there? Yep, now we get the speed boost. Now, when it comes to recharge, I uh, now have a new method of recharging. Uh, one that uh, is far more compact, but still needs belts, uh, at least as far as I'm aware. Let's just go like this. A grabber like that, and then as for input, we use mana pipes, given that we have so many. And uh, we go like this. Then like this. Should we need more, we can always expand to the side, and then we add more uh, entrances with the mana pipes. But yeah, now this should give you the uh, next boost. Come on. It takes a little while to give them a boost, so maybe we are going to move things from here into here. Yeah, I think that's the best, and then I put an intermediary booster somewhere around this area. Okay, my friends, so after studying their patterns carefully, I have positioned air shrine towers in strategic strategic locations. So as we can see, as the speed boost is about to run out, they uh, run into an air shrine, giving them the speed booster again. And then there is another one over here, which... He which is the place their uh, speed boost is supposed to run out. Now, one thing I notice, this does not apply to trains, so um, a thing to keep in mind, and as the speed boost is about to run out, it gets recharged once again, and then it gets recha recharged by this tower as it is once again running out. Then on the way there, we have a tower right there, and a tower right there, and that's all that it takes for them to reach this location where they get uh, reboosted once again. So, even though these are not exactly the fastest things around, with the speed boost at least, is um, a decent like travel speed, right? They actually can supply... Uh, wow, like just look at that, look at the amount of resources that we have in there. I, I think uh, airships have proven their worth if we pair them with air shrines towers. Now, my friends, I admit, I got a little bit distracted with all of this airship no uh, nonsense, and I almost forgot the reason why we were doing all of this. We need to transport elixir and crystals, which we have plenty of, uh, all the way to the other side of the map. And uh, let me tell you, I have a feeling... Yeah, we have to bring it all the way over here. I have a feeling that we are going to make a billion zillion quadrillion speed towers, because uh, it is a long way, and without those uh, speed boosts, uh, the airships are just going to take forever. Not only that, we will have to build a billion of them, uh, so... Uh, hmm. Not exactly... Uh, it's not going to be a ship endeavor, at least in the crystal part, because uh, we are going to use a lot of, of those crystals. In fact, I have a supply... I stopped supply the, supplying uh, uh, air crystals, uh, a long time ago, simply because I want to use them for these uh, thingies, for these air towers. Uh, we can't uh, build uh, build them fast enough. Let's just say there is a uh, thirst for crystals that uh, we can't uh, uh, satisfy. I mean, we could technically build uh, air temples now, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that, that would prevent us from doing fun things like this, right? Like using the airships. So we are going to use that earth temple that we have right there to build ourselves some earth crystals. So, time to start setting up some uh, trading routes. Okay, my friend, so we have our airship dock uh, right there, filled up to the brink with ether and crystals. So, let's grab two of these bad boys. We are going to tell them to uh, bring three things of ether and one thing of mana crystals. We need... Um, a ratio of 4 to 1, so uh, 3 to 1 is the best thing we can do, right? Right. Eventually the crystals are going to uh, fill up, so not exactly a major concern. 
let's just go like this, like this, like this, and like this, right? Right. And then, first we tell them to pick up everything, and then... So, the idea, I think, is we are going to tell them, we are going to right-click over here to tell them to move that way, and then we are going to tell them to move that way, and then we are going to tell them, where is the other thingy? We are going to tell them to move that way, and then, finally, we are going to tell them to uh, drop off everything, and then we are going to do the uh, other way around, right? We right-click right there, we right-click right there, we right-click there there and then they should come back the order should repeat itself why am i doing things like this well the objective is for uh, this thing to take advantage of the existing air shrines so that we don't have to use uh, too many right and uh, i already have a few over here fully charged and ready to go so uh, once again i'm going to study their pattern and uh, once i figure out um, Oh, they uh, touch down if you tell the, if you right click. Ah, uh, that's less than ideal. I don't want you to touch down. I just want you to move there to take advantage of the existing air shrine. Hmm. I'll have to study this a little bit. Yeah, they freak out. They touch. Uh, this is not going to work. Okay, that's fine. It was worth the try, right? So uh, pick up everything from there and then uh, deliver everything uh, to the other side. I will study their patterns and. Uh, lay down uh, uh, towers along the way. It is uh, unfortunate, but uh, maybe we might just intercept some uh, other interesting stuff, like for example over here. This uh, air shrine tower is actually speeding up the delivery of uh, uh, wood. Like, these things look like... look at them. They, they, they look like freaking Ferraris, just going all crazy with a speed boost. Okay, my friends, so it took me a while, but uh, because this route is quite large, but I studied their patterns and I have uh, placed air shrines along their way. They should be constantly uh, with a speed boost, so they get their first speed boost. I'm sorry, guys. So they get their first speed boost from the air shrine next to the air dock, then they move along. We have these two, this one is for as they are moving into the uh, earth temple, this one is when they are coming back. They don't come back, they don't go back and forward uh, along the same line. They take a slightly different pattern, so uh, uh, these uh, two are here, wants to go in, another one to come out. Then we have these two over here, uh, in this totally natural formation island, not me at all. Uh, this one is for when they are going in, as we can see, they are about to get their speed boost, and this one is when they are coming out, because for some reason, even though, um, as you can see, this tile is within uh, the range of that, they don't get the speed boost, so I had to build another one. That's fine. They keep on moving towards this way, where there is another air shrine ready for, ready for them. This one also boosts the boats, like uh, they just look like speed boats for now, so uh, yeah. Uh, there is a moment where they uh, run out of uh, speed boost, but that's because I also wanted to benefit the uh, caravans and stuff like that, so... Uh, that's why it is over there. Then we have these two, one right there and one right there. It is necessary because uh, as they go are going in, this one uh, gives them a boost, right? Uh, and not this one. This one is for when they are coming out, uh, because they run out of speed boost somewhere around here, so I just decided to give them another one. Uh, in a location that was convenient. And that also helps out these dudes that are uh, just shredding trees. Uh. So, it is a win-win situation for us. And this pretty much makes sure that uh, we have constantly uh, enough stuff over here to uh, produce the earth crystals. So I'm pretty happy with the result. Now all we need to do is bring those crystals into a place of our choosing and uh, we are be we are going to be golden. Uh, we could probably start working on the necklace, but uh, I'm going to postpone a little bit uh, for now. I want to have a few more uh, before I go into that. Uh, this barn can hold on quite significant amount of them. And the reason for that is because uh, I suspect that uh, just like the air shrine, uh, the air crystals right there that we are using for to build the air shrines, there must be something uh, with the uh, earth stones as well. So, we want to build this necklace. Um, 
They need polished stones and uh, those things, plates, which means we are going to build these in our industrial area. Uh, but for that we need elemental jewelry and earth power. Okay, let's go into the research tree. We can do the uh, magic jewelry, not the elemental jewelry. The elemental jewelry is right there. So we have to do this one first. Then elemental jewelry we can go ahead and do it as well. But we also need the earth power, right? For that we need earth knowledge tombs. So let's unlock those and start working on that th on those thingies. Because we need 250 uh, points if we want to uh, unlock the um, purple necklace thingy. And there we go, so now we have three mage towers, building uh, ourselves a couple of earth books. It's something extremely simple, we just added more mage towers next to the ones making the air knowledge. And we brought the elixir uh, this way, using these, but we are going to actually use these conveyors. Now, we still need to bring it uh, all the way over here, right? So let's go and change some things. Let's add the uh, Earth Knowledge Tombs uh, level 1 to the inventory of that. Let's add one thing here. And then we add one grabber that goes like that. And put uh, one thingy over there. And now I have to transport the books uh, from that corner into that corner. Is not it's n it's not going to be complicated, but so on. Uh, it's just going to be a, a long belt. <sighs> okay, okay. It's going to be easy. Come on, come on. It's just as extending belts. Nothing to worry about. Okay, my friends. So, the books are now arriving at a silo. The silo is depositing it in the train station. I placed its loader right there. That rail loader, it's getting a little bit complicated uh, maneuvering around here, but there is just so many stuff, it's not even funny. It's fine, it's fine. I already added a box cart to hold the uh, tombs, so we have a box cart for earth tombs, a box cart for uh, air tombs, books, no, uh, regular magic and mana bricks that we are not using nor are we uh, exporting right now but uh, we are going to eventually uh, get on to do that so let's start the locomotive once again there should be more than enough knowledge books over there right let's take a look yep this box cart is completely filled up so now all we have to do is set up a caravan to transport those books back into the school and we are going to be golden Okay, so here comes the train with that, and it has unloaded. Cool. Uh, oh, I still need to create a line to transport the uh, books all the way over there. There we go. So now there is uh, book transportation is getting into the barn. Let's upgrade the barn to the maximum, because why not? And then we tell this caravan, pick up the earth books, and deliver them to the school. Alright, so after our citizens have read all the new uh, spells that we have given them, uh, I wonder what kind of uh, shenanigans are going to happen in town tonight. After all, everybody has uh, just learned a couple of Earth spells, so um, I don't know. I don't know why these people like to read uh, so many spells, but in any case, uh, they gave us the uh, ability to research Earth Power, which is the final thing that we need to do the uh, recipe and necklace in the enchanter uh, so now that we have that available to us all we have to do is build a, a couple of enchanters recharge them with um, doo -doo 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 -doo, earth crystals right we are going to charge them uh, the three of them with earth crystals then we are going to move them into our um, industrial area and there we are going to craft the necklaces that we are then going to sell in the specialty goods Thingy, yep, specialty goods for 15 purple coins. Beautiful. I'm pretty sure our citizens are going to be mm, extremely happy. Okay, dokie, my friends. Everything is uh, set up, and I'm pretty sure we are already producing necklaces, no? Uh, no, we are still waiting for those, uh, for those polished tones, but uh, other than that, we have all the inputs over here already, and then uh, we are going to start... Uh, let me see... Uh, Maybe this might be a small issue. We might not be able to recharge fast enough, but at the same time, we can't get the polished stone uh, fast enough, so it's not even going to be a problem. I'm also piping the um, 
crystals in a different way now, uh, just to make it that much more compact. Uh, we could expand the recharges if we wanted by doing this, this, and this. Oh no, but that's going to output them in the wrong place. Uh, we do it like this instead. Yeah. So uh, we go back. Right, and we do it like what? Like this? Yeah, like this. Bam. So now we have two thingies. Uh, the capable of recharging the crystals uh, outputted by these things. And now we have the necklaces in storage, which means the th second item from the list to achieve tech level 9 has been achieved, my friends. This took a little bit longer uh, than um, anticipated, but uh, well, at least, my friends, uh, we are one step closer. I suppose that uh, it's quite natural that uh, the fin vi final items in the tier list are more difficult to uh, procure, right? It makes sense, so uh, maybe if we can uh, scratch one item per episode, uh, we can call it a victory? I think that uh, that we can call it a victory. Besides, in this episode we replaced a bunch of belts with blue belts. We already are uh, completely full of blue belts over here as well, so... Uh, we are winning, my friends. Speed is becoming the word of the day. We have speed boosts all over the place. Uh, the game already lags a little bit once we uh, start hovering over these um, shops due to the high amount of stuff that we have. And um, I'm quite happy with the results that we are, are obtaining um, in this playthrough. But in order for us to continue uh, grinding throughout the necessary items uh, to get tech on level 9, we are going to only be able to do that in the next episode, my friends. So, with all of that said, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm,